skin and coat can tell you a lot about its health. You can see and feel whether your cat has parasites, such as fleas or ticks, and whether it has lumps, bumps or injuries which need attention. If a cat becomes used to being checked over as a kitten, this process will be much easier when it is an adult or if required when having a checkup at the vets. Checking the coat and skin requires moving the hair backwards, which is not how you stroke your cat or your cat would normally groom. Therefore, your cat needs to learn that this is not threatening. Start simply and keep sessions short, progressing to the next step when your cat is fully comfortable with each step. As with all handling and training, having your cat relaxed makes teaching and learning much more successful and enjoyable. Start with your cat facing away from you, as this is less threatening and can help your cat feel comfortable with the handling. To help make the touching enjoyable, use a reward. Some cats, such as this one, enjoy being stroked, so stroking can be used as a reward. For other cats, such as this cat, the reward can be a food treat. A cat will learn best if the handling occurs first and then the reward follows. A small overlap between handling and reward is fine initially, as long as the handling always occurs first. Using this method, the cat learns that the handling predicts a reward, and thus the handling may become rewarding in its own right. A marker word or sound can be used to help your cat understand which behaviour leads to the reward. Here a clicker is used. First the clicker is associated with the reward, which is food here, and this can be achieved by simply marking the sound and providing the reward immediately afterwards. Repeating this pairing of a word or sound with the reward over several times will teach the cat that the word or sound predicts a reward is on its way. Sometimes people handle and give rewards at the same time. While this can be a useful distraction for a one-off situation, your cat may never learn to tolerate the handling without a reward being given at the same time. So it is best to teach your cat that handling predicts a reward is on its way for long-term acceptance of the handling. Handling should always remain within the boundaries of what your cat is comfortable with. Thus handling should start with the most tolerated form. This may be a simple brush of the fur in an area where stroking is normally well tolerated. Progress slowly as your cat accepts the handling to less tolerated areas. Work slowly and progressively all the time stopping to offer rewards for remaining still and relaxed. How quickly this handling progresses depends very much on the individual cat so always be guided by your cat's body language and how comfortable it appears to be. Veterinary care of your cat may involve using a treatment for parasites which can be applied to the skin on the back of the neck. This requires parting of the hair to apply the medicine onto the skin and will be much easier to do if your cat is used to this process. So the next step to help your cat tolerate this is to make sure your cat is comfortable with a medicine bottle or applicator approaching and touching the skin. You can practice this with a similar bottle or applicator, gently touching it against the skin, removing and rewarding. Practicing this and ensuring your cat is fully comfortable with it will mean that when your cat does actually need medicine, the only new sensation will be of the liquid on the skin. For advice on applying a spot-on treatment, go to the video link you can see here.